after Mothering Sunday, 18th of um, March, and this is a pilgrimage, if you like, meaning to make for a long time. Simone's writing had a big effect on me as a, a teenager and a young man. And obviously a lot of other people. Julia and I are just having a short um, weekend break in um, Oxfordshire. Um, it's Mother's Day today, 18th of, um, 18th of March and um, We've just come up, I've just done something I wanted to do for a long time, visited C.S. Lewis's grave. Um, Paddington Quarry Church, we went to a um, communion service there as well. And uh, this is a pub not far from, um, uh, on the edge of Oxford, a pub called um, The Trout. I very much doubt you're going to lift your marvellous feathers for me, are you, mate? Oh, yeah, you might surprise me. He's after your biscuit. He nicked it. So that's what the Peacocks game is here, they nick people's biscuits. I didn't get a biscuit. You did? <gasps> you must have had yours first. He must have nicked... Oh, blow me, he must have... Because he came across the table, He must have. He? He came across, so he must have nicked my biscuit so without me noticing it. He nicked your biscuit in passing while my back was turned. And then I thought, I'll just cover my drink so he doesn't put his beak in it, and he nabbed my. My biscuit. I saw him picking some stuff up. Oh well. I like the little tassels on his head. Outskirts of Oxford, all sorts of things happen. Okay. Lots of geese around there. Painting, they've used actual leaves to make those prints or, or stencils. Yeah, I guess so. This is a new take on the uh, canal art. Hello! Hi. All right, cheers, mate. Thanks. <laughs> A new take on canal art, I'm just Sorry, saying. Just looking at your lovely leaves. A little, little bit worn now. <laughs> yeah. I like the leaf. I like the leaf print, sir. Thank you. Lovely. Yes, and the in the distance is the skyline of Oxford. One of the more significant um, uh, cities uh, of um, European civilization, I guess. Got a very tasty lunch. In the, uh, the Trout public house. We just look at this private garden. We can't get into it, but there's a, a lion. I don't know if you can see it, a stone or a with plaster or stone lion. I wonder if it's got anything to do with the uh, Narnia stories. Uh, this is a, a pub we know that J.R.R. Tolkien uh, frequented. What his mate C.S. Lewis wrote all the uh, Narnia stories. Oh, a very iconic image of a very interesting looking little, gar little garden on an island that's locked up and we can't get into it. That's interesting, there's a couple of uh, crowns here, there's one crown, there's a couple of roses, 
There's another crown. There's another crown. What do you think all this means, Julia? Secret guard, secret locked garden on an island. Oh, I can see a sundial over there with maybe an inscription on it. Who can tell? So, the these canoeists are going to move up. Just equalising the uh, water level. Here's the canoe boys and girls coming through. One of the things that probably everybody should do at some stage during their life, I mean I haven't done it and I probably never will, would be to um, canoe the length of a big river such as the Thames. Personally I'd be more interested in the Loire or maybe the Rhone. The Thames has not been said for it though. It's quite an important river in English history. Old Father Thames. It's the trout in. And um, over here is something very interesting. Wolvercote Community Orchard. My kind permission of the Oxford Conservation Trust. The apple trees in the orchard. La la la. Oh, we've got Pippin Austin Pineapple, Queen of the Pippins, Darcy Spice. And that um, peacock probably represents the peacock um, in the pub opposite the road. And here's, this is really nice. Here's a map of where the apples are. Please respect this orchard. Well, I cannot think of a more appropriate message. Please respect this orchard if only Adam had obeyed that command. This is the Wolvercote Community Orchard and we've just been having a look around. Um, very interesting orchard. Obviously, it's a fairly mature orchard. This is Reverend Wilkes, a well-known cooking apple. Uh, Tom Putt, this is a, a, a triple purpose apple. You can eat it, you can cook it, you can make cider out of it. It's considered to be an extremely vigorous apple. It will survive almost any kind of abuse. And it's named after a Tom Putt. But I don't know which Tom Putt because there were three Tom Putts. Any of them it might have been named after. This is one of my favourite apples in the whole world. Orleans Renette, the farmer's market at Winchester. And I was explaining to somebody that this was a highly sought after cooking apple variety in France. And that the French chefs really loved this. And then from the back of the queue, somebody said, Mais oui, monsieur. <laughs> and, uh, and there was actually a French woman in the queue who affirmed that what I was saying was true. Morgan Sweet, this is an early maturing cider apple. You can eat it. It used to be very popular in um, South Wales, apparently, when they used to have a mining industry there. Now, that's an apple I've never heard of Hanwell Souring. Suggests it's a bitter shop. Yeah, ah, oh, this is an excellent Ashmead. It should be Ashmead's kernel. These trees look as though they're on very vigorous rootstocks. I think the and soil in good, is very And in very good here. soil. If you look at this, I'm not in any way going to criticise anything around it. These have been pruned clearly. I don't think they've been pruned badly, um, but it's quite clear that these trees are having to be hacked back quite aggressively because they're vigorous trees growing well in good soil. And you can see if these were left, they'd be growing into each other. But hey, it's, it seems like it's working. Uh -huh. Pitmaster Pine, I strongly suspect that that is a misspelling of Pitmaston Pineapple, uh, which is a very fine apple that we grow. You'll notice that uh, uh, this is actually a lot smaller tree. This is a uh, much dwarfer tree. It's presumably on the same rootstock as the others, which just confirms the point that some apple trees are, are genetically less vigorous than others. And the Pitmaston pineapple is quite a small growing tree. Fantastic flavor. Hey, we must come back here in the autumn, mustn't we? And have a look. Hmm, here's another tree again, Winston. Ha ha, Winston, that's one of the favorite. You've heard me talk about that, otherwise known as Winter King. It's a gauge. This looks like a quince here. 
Quince, yeah, Quince, Meech is prolific. Meech is prolific, yeah. Here's a Marston Duchess. You can see here that these um, are well advanced compared to... Um, this is a newly planted 